So he said, Moses is telling us, remember, remember the Sabbath day because he know when this happened to us, we are going to forget That's when the right. Sabbath day is. That's right. So he said, remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Go ahead. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So guess what? Saturday is the seventh day of the week. He says, on the seventh day, we are not permitted to do any work according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's one law for the Sabbath. Yes. Yes. We are not permitted to do any work on the Sabbath according to the Bible. Says not according to me. So. We um Exodus now, go to Exodus 16 and verse 23. That is one law for the Sabbath. One law for the Sabbath, we are not allowed to work for the Sabbath. When he survived work. What's, let's read another law what's for the Sabbath. Continue. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 23. And he said unto them, This is, th is that which the Lord had said to you. Had said. Okay, well, when you have a chance, there's a uh, no problem. There's an internet website. All right. There's an internet website on the flyer. A telephone number. There's also an address. Okay. In the busy web Almera. In Almera. Almera. We are also on YouTube. What about you, you, you type in Israel. Israel. United in Christ. We are always in purple and gold. All right, we, are, we, we speak different languages on the YouTube, so you can just pick whichever language is suitable to you. All right, God bless you. but hey, we want to see you all, okay? We have work to do, all right? Okay, so, um, brother Vincent, um, read um, Exodus 16 and verse 23 again. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord had said, tomorrow had said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So tomorrow is the rest of Holy Sabbath. That is now. Unto the Lord. Huh? Bake that which ye will bake today. So bake. Bake what you will bake today. And see that which you will see. And seed. That we, seed is, is our word for boil. So it's, it's trying to tell us we are not allowed to cook on the Sabbath. You know? So we, we touched on too large. We are not allowed to work. And we are not allowed to cook on the Sabbath. So now we are going to go to our next love. Go to Nehemiah 10 and verse 31. 
So now we, 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 we learn here today, according to the Bible, the children of the 12 sons of Jacob went into slavery on ships. That is only depicted to one race of people. Right, brother? The 12 sons of Jacob went into slavery on ships. You, you got a flyer? Take a flyer from the border. Take a flyer from the border. The 12 sons of Jacob went into slavery on ships. That only happened to one race of people. God is telling the children of Israel, hey, we have laws, statutes, and commandments to keep. Now we are going to read the other three and four laws of the Sabbath. All right? So go to the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, and verse 31. So for the Sabbath, we are not allowed to work. We are not allowed to cook. And Brother Vincent, this is the other two laws for the Sabbath. All right? This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, and verse 31. Yeah. And if the people of the land bring whale or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. That we would not buy? That we would not <laughs> buy it of them on the Sabbath. So guess what? On the Sabbath, we are also not allowed to buy and sell. We are not allowed to buy and sell for the Sabbath. So the Sabbath, now go now, let's read this law. Go to Genesis chapter 2. Sorry, Genesis chapter 1. And read the last verse. Yeah. Genesis chapter one. No, 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 no. no two and one. Okay. One minute. One minute. One minute. Read Genesis chapter two and verse. Start at one. No, start at two. Start at two. This is the book of Genesis chapter two and verse two. So li listen what listen what God said, brother Vincent. Listen what God said. And on the seventh day, God ended His work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made so that's one of the reasons why God doesn't want us to work on the Sabbath he said he himself rested from making the earth making creation continue and God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made so he said God sanctified the Sabbath day. He sat, he made it holy. He made the he made the Sabbath day holy. So that's why he created you now these rules for us to make sure we execute these rules. Hey, TK Max, the movies, all of these store McDonald's, make sure after the sun is set on Friday sunset, no more buying. No more buying for the 12 sons of Jacob. Why? Because God sanctified it in Genesis. He sanctified the Sabbath day, the seventh day in Genesis. So it's just like um, you have children. Exactly. It's just like you speaking to your children. And you tell, you tell the child, hey, the stove is on. Do not touch the stove. You know, if you touch the stove, something is going to happen. <laughs> So God is telling us the same thing. He gave us rules. He gave us, and if we break these rules, hey, these things happen to us. And these things are still happening. But, um, any questions you have? No, not for now? Okay. Well, um, hey, go back now. All praises, hey. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. So now, bro, on the flyer, it's a, it's an address. Can you see where? Number 64 in Almeida, every Saturday from 12 o'clock. If you have questions, we, we can answer your questions according to the Bible from 12 o'clock until 1.30. All right? So, hey, come out, learn some more about, you know, the history. Also, we have a YouTube channel. We're always in purple and blue. Okay? What a Vincent, now you know, you know, stay in contact with us. There's two telephone numbers on the flyer also. There's an email um, address. Hey, feel free to reach out, all right? Feel free to reach out. You you had a question? You believe in the Bible? The, the Quran? Oh, but we be been speaking about the Quran. You know, we're speaking about the Bible, so, you know. Yeah, the, God is about the Bible, you know. Isaac. Jacob. 
Jacob's name was later changed into Israel. He had 12 sons. Moses fought until the 12 sons. Do you know any history about the Bible? Okay, so Jacob's name was changed into Israel. Israel, Jacob had 12 sons. Moses told, Moses told the 12 sons, read 28 and 15. Let me hear what Moses told the 12 sons. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if we will not listen Go ahead. To, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses telling the children of Israel, all these curses, curses are going to come upon thee and overtake thee. These curses, by these curses, you are going to tell who the children of Israel are today. The children of the Israel, Judges 6, are who, brothers? The Israel. The who? The Israel. The children of Israel, the chosen people of God, are the Israelites. Where from, brother? Where from? Zimbabwe. I don't have to tell you anything about it, about slavery. I know it. Huh? There was no slaves from Zimbabwe, though. Well, hey, they said the children, listen carefully, the children of Israel went into slavery on ships. You understand? So the, 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 the children who went into slavery on ships, they fell under the 12 sons of Jacob. You understand? Go to the Jewish people, the Bible will find it the Exactly. You know why? I know why. Okay, we're gonna read Queen of Sheba. Okay, we, we, no, hey, hey, hold up, we're gonna read it 60, read it on 64. Yeah, 64. I'll be This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. This is how this is how the Jews get there. Listen, and the Lord shall scatter thee among among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. So you hear that? The Lord is going to scatter the twelve sons of Jacob all over the world. That's right. Yeah, all, that's right. Guess what? In Russia, you can find the children of Israel. In China, you can find the children of Israel. Where you from, bro? Where you from? In Turkey, you can find the children of Israel. You from here? Yeah. Guess uh, what? Yeah, hey, here in Netherlands, you can find us. We are in the right. Guess what? The children of Israel are also here. Is that right? Yeah, we, we speak also. Yeah, we speak, we speak also, also English. Also Dutch. We speak also Dutch. Also do? You have a flyer? You have a flyer? No, no, no. Okay. When you get a chance, go on the internet website. They have a telephone number and also an internet um, an address. An address. I got you. Televisi Web 64. Come and learn more about the Bible. Okay? If you're this right. So, uh, our dual is to ask the questions. Our dual is to wake up the 12 sons of Jacob. You understand? Because when you ask, I don't know if you have any you have black friends. You have access to the black friends, hey, where you are from? You get different answers. You understand? So by hearing that, they don't know that they are the children of Israel. Some people say Africa. Some people say we are from the country of black. Some people say we are from this, we are from that, we are from this. But according to this one, we are from your forefather. So now, guess what? According to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Asher. You understand? Because before Suriname was named Suriname, it was named Dutch Guyana. Before Dutch Guyana, Guyana. Before Guyana, Belize. 
All of these things, you understand? Exactly. So guess that's why God says, you're not from Suina, you're from the tribe of Asher. I'm not a West Indian black. I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. That's what the Bible says. You understand? You have a question? What's your question? I have a couple of questions. One, you keep speaking about chosen people and one race. Yet on the 12th tribe, you see people from different race. How do you explain this inconsistency? Me, you can run me 28. Because the Mexicans, the Aztecs, are not from the same um, from Holy the same Bible. Holy Bible. They're actually Asian. Yes, the Holy Bible. They're like the Old Testament and the New Testament. All and New Testament. Read this one. It's a I'm, I'm, I'm trying to answer this question, then I'm going to answer. So you ask who wrote, who wrote the Bible, right? Okay. So, yeah, so your I'll, first I'll, time I'll was... I'll explain, because I see people from different races. Uh -huh. like Mexicans, for example, I know uh -huh. they have Asian offspring, uh -huh. like from Mongolia, uh -huh. and, and then them to east, northeast Russia, they, they came migrating to Latin America. Uh -huh. Okay. Read verse 64. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 64. Yeah? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Wait. Oh. Uh, but, but the Native American people were already living there before this was even written. Exactly. Exactly. Before this, before this was written? Yeah. This is writ written in Deuteronomy. Yeah, I know. The the first five books of, of the know, Old the Testament Torah. is called the Torah. Yeah. So guess I, I what? My Bible. This was written and then it happened. You understand? Well, first it was told and then it was... Read it again, and read and it again, read it again. You have to listen, listen. You have to listen too because this 64. is oral tradition. This has been spoken before it was written. That first was told. Listen, listen. And it will happen before it was written. 64. When What's the that? Lord shall scatter thee among all people. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. So God says the children of Israel will be scattered all over the world. That's right. In every single nation. That's right. In every single land, they're going to be scattered all over the world. Yeah. Guess what? The Bible says the tribe of Judah, the bulk, the bulk would be the American blacks. That's right. Guess what? You said you know your Bible. You have to tell me where it's written. Where is it written in the Bible? Where is it written? That no, I'm asking you. Where is it written in the Bible? That Judah is a, a yes, American yes, black people. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. That's it anyway. But you just said you know the Bible. Yeah. I don't see a white boy. I see a damn fool. <laughs> Guess what? You said you know your Bible. You have to tell me where it's written. Where is it written in the Bible? Where is it written that... No, I'm asking you, where is it written in the Bible? That Judah is a, a, yes, a American yes, black people? Yes, yes, yes. That's right. That's it anyway. But you just said you know the Bible. Yeah. I see a damn fool. <laughs> okay, go to Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49. And read about Judah. Judah, verse 8. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49. Well, guess what? You said you know about the Bible. Right now, Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy, chapter 33, it speaks about the 12 sons of Jacob. Writing is it's magic. Chapter 49. Well, guess what? You said you know about the Bible. Write down Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy chapter 33. It speaks about the 12 sons of Jacob. See, writing is a weapon. And it's more powerful than a fist can ever be. Read verse 8. Judah, Judah, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Guess That's what? Right. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Why was Martin Luther King killed? What did he do wrong? Bring it out! Don't worry, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. How is this related? Read it again. Judah, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise. Uh -huh. Thy hand, thy what? Thy hand uh -huh. shall be in the neck of thy enemy. That's right! That's right! If I have my hand in my
my brother's neck. Yeah. What am I trying to do? Am I trying to kiss him? No. no, I'm trying to choke him. What did Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Nat Turner, I can keep on going the whole day. I can keep on going the whole day. What did they do to the American um, economy? What did they do to the American economy? They crippled the American co economy. That's right. Yeah. When Martin Luther King said, guess what? We are not taking your trains, your buses. We are not taking any transportation anymore. Guess what? Our enemy said, okay, it's time for us to listen to Martin Luther King now. Let's go on the table and speak to him. That's right. Read verse 8 again. Bring it out. Thou art whom thy brother shall praise. Thy heart shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Go ahead. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. That's you know right. what it said about Judah? So now when you read Genesis 49, Deuteronomy 33, it speaks about the 12 sons of Jacob, and it speaks about where they are going to be today. So guess what? Those of you all who think you all know the Bible, don't worry. We'll answer you all questions. But first, read the Bible. Read the Bible. That's we right. Are here for the 12 sons of Jacob. That's, That's right. right. You know why we are here for the 12 sons of Jacob? What other race in the world? Welcome under the Ras here in Netherlands. No Muli Maker. Oh, oh, it's a touchy subject now. Oh, oh. Welcome under the Ras here in Netherlands is the last of where to Bring it out. The first Turkish student of the second hand. It really need me. Bring it out. Yeah, yeah, this is no one in Cape Mason, no work. No people are walking away because we are speaking about the 12 sons of Jacob. Brood, brood, we pray not over the Quran. We pray not over the Bible. Snap it. Go to Genesis chapter 22 and verse 28. Genesis chapter 22 and verse 28. Genesis chapter 22 and verse 28. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall no, shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel. That's right. Thy name shall no more be called Jacob, but what? But Israel. Okay, let's read. Let me lay what the word Israel be taken. Let me read what the word Israel means. That's right. Read out. For as a prince. For as a what? For as a prince. Has the power with God for as a prince? For as a prince, you remember the brother name? His name was Prince. That's why I call him. Hey, I like your name. The Bible says the word Israel means for as a prince we have power with God. But guess what? We have to keep His laws to get that power back. That's right. That's right. right. We have to keep His laws to get that power back. That's the end of the day. That's the story. Because when you look on the news, who do you see getting shoot in the streets? Do you see do you see the Chinaman getting shoots in the streets? No. Do you see your people getting shoots in the streets? Exactly. So guess what? We are here for our brothers. What race of people populate the prison cells? Bring it out! Bring it out! What race of people? No, 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 no. Ask me a question, let me answer it. I'm asking him what race of people populate the prison cells. Our race of people. Our race of people populate the prison cells. That's right. When we do the same crime as other nation does, say for instance, we go to McDonald's and we steal a, McD a burger. We get 10 years for a burger. Other nations go to McDonald's, steal a burger, and they get six months for the burger. 
Okay, now we're touching some nitty gritty. I agree with you that it is, and I and I, I also Guess what? I am not, yeah. I am really against black prisoners, all these black prisoners in the United States, many. Okay. I'm not saying it's, it's I don't know about the So I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. Would you trade places with any of us? Bring it out! No, 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 no. I'm, Bring I'm, it I'm, out! Would you trade places? Any one of us. Bring it out. Bring it out. Trade places, anybody. Why not? Because I'm happy with the, who I am. That's what I mean. It's, it's, I don't know about the. So I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Would you trade places with any of us? Bring it out. No, 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 no. I'm, Bring I'm, it I'm, out. Would you trade places with any one of us? Bring it out. Bring it out. Trade places, anybody. Why not? Because I'm happy with the, who I am. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's right. No one will trade places for us. All the other nations will feel sorry for us. But Vincent, why wouldn't they trade places for us? Oh, it's exactly. That's the problem. Exactly. Because, bro, this is your kingdom. Live it up. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Then your frustration, and I can no, see that bro. this is coming from the United States. Bro, it's coming from the. I think. Read so. Ecclesiastes seven and verse seven. Bring it out. Read Ecclesiastes this seven and verse seven. Bring it out. Do you do you think I'm angry? This is passion. I, I think you are. No, this is passion. Bro. Bring it out. Passion. Passion. Let's do. Let's do what um, what the Bible says. Bro, I'm not angry. I, I'm, I'm not saying, far I'm from not saying angry. you should not be angry. This is my good side. You see, I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm not saying that this you have no This is my good yes. side. Read Ecclesiastes 7 7. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, chapter 7, verse 7. Yeah? Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely what? Oppression maketh a wise man mad. Brother Vincent, who is oppressed? We are oppressed. Bring it out. Bring it out. We yes, are bring oppressed. It out. So guess what? It says oppression shall make a wise man mad. Guess what? I'm still smiling. So I'm not mad yet. Don't worry. My voice is raised because the Bible says we have to speak hard as I'm men. I'm listening to you because you I'm understand? interested in your story. But you're not But you just said you wouldn't trade places with any of us. I wouldn't trade places with anybody. That's my answer to let me know, hey, you all can go and kick rocks. That's right. You know what kick right. rocks mean? No. You all can get the hell out of here. That's right. listening to you because I'm you interested in your story. But you're not But you just said you say. wouldn't trade places with any of us. I wouldn't trade places with anybody. That's my answer to let me know, hey, you all can go and kick rocks. That's, That's right. right. You know what kick right. rocks mean? No. You all can get the hell out of here. That's right. Bring it on! what kick rocks me. You see, I'm brother, smiling. Brother. This is my happy face. I, you know why I'm happy? You don't know why? Let's let read some good news. Bring me from six. Me from. Well, welcome to now. Nicaria. Wait till it's from Slavina. Take a wee is this to break. Take the 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 but that is going into science. Go to um, go to First Timothy chapter six. Go to First Timothy chapter six. Let, let's read about. Let's read what the Bible have to say about science. Let's read what the Bible have to say about science. Because my sister, what's her name, says? Shayano. I'm Officer Makaya, okay? But let's read about. Go to read verse twenty. Verse twenty. So we are going to read about science in the Bible. Let's hear what the Bible has to say about science, about evolution, about the men's comfort. What, what, what is it? The men's comfort. Apple joints. 
That changes it though. Yeah. Okay. Last one, lady. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter six and verse twenty. Uh -huh. Oh Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. So it's telling Timothy, hey Timothy, what I gave you, keep it to thy trust. It can be a days of wetter, stature, and regels gegeven, die moet je aanhouden. That said Timothy, eh? Come on, avoiding profane and vain babblings. Avoiding profane and vain, vain babblings. That's saying go on, stomme dingen die je op straat hoort. Evolutie, stomme dingen. Come on, and oppositions of science and oppositions of science. So, what does he call science? Well, well, oppositions of science. And oppositions of science falsely so called. Truthly so called. Falsely so called. The Bible said yeah. that science yeah. is false. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. That's like the Bible. It can be you know? The Bible said science, they have a connected lace as is the Timothy post exists and twinter. The Bible said science is false. Focus the Bible. Yeah? yeah? Maar gaat u dat, gaat u dat, gaat u dat naar Deuteronium? Focus, gaat u dat naar Deuteronium? Because guess what? No one, no one wants to trade places with us because they see our struggle. They see what we go through as a race of people. We are not here to, to fight anyone. We are here to teach the 12 sons of Jacob According to the Bible, who they are. That's right. right. The Bible says King Solomon was a black man. That's, That's right. right. Guess what? We are going to read about King Solomon is a black man. The Bible says Jesus Christ is a black man. That's, That's right. right. We are going to read Jesus Christ is a black man. The Bible says Adam was made from the dust of the ground. That was the first man. That's right. The deeper you go, the darker you get. So guess what? We are reading the Bible. We are not reading other religions, other man-made religions. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.